does, Jack. Big thing, mask. Ah, uh, Jack. Right, let's take him. Hello? Come on, is it not working? Of course, I still forget that. Okay, the game is showing to me now. Hello to anyone who may be watching now, later on on YouTube. Hinin here, along with... Nakir! And welcome back for the fourth stream of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Thank you! Uh, yeah, ever since last stream, Drakir hasn't been able to shut up about how much he's looking forward to playing this, or watching me play this again. <laughs> yeah, come on, none of these half bad. Have I? <laughs> yeah, just teasing, but yeah, <laughs> I, I look forward to playing this game every time as well. So, let's delay it at the least amount of... Wait, map completion 20%. Okay, we've seen about a fifth of the map. But that means that there's still a lot more to see. Yeah, and which stream number is this at the moment? Number four. And yes, I did forget... You know, I didn't forget to add the number this time. <laughs> well, let's see see them. So, four streams, and each one we got, got like 5% done. A bit of a rough guess, yeah. So, <laughs> by that estimate, we'd be done in like 60 more you know, streams. Yeah, give or take. Yeah, but that would be complete 100% map completion. And there is some areas that we haven't been able to reach yet. Which will probably speed up as we go. So, maybe 10 at the max, I'm guessing? That, that is a very rough uh, guess. And <laughs> we start off with a new shard already. Summon Buor. Go for the Leonine Demon and set it upon your post. I think you know what that is, if you remember what the Bower is. Yeah, the wheel of demons. Yep. <laughs> Those. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the, the fairy. Okay, that that wasn't visible on the stream, sadly, but uh, the fairy was chasing after it. Okay. Very combat eager. But I was to say, I was going to start to think of about powerful. I thought they're supposed to be soldiers or. In general, of one of the hell's armies. Okay. Uh, maybe that's Bail we've been warned about last time. Yeah, here's the thing. Many of the gods from the uh, ancient Babylonian and other religions in the East became uh, demonized as uh, demon generals. Of course. And Bail is not an exception from a web god to a demon lord. Yeah, if I recall correctly, uh, when Christian missionaries uh, recorded or started translating a lot of uh, Irish and uh, a lot of Irish mythology or religion, they uh, turned all of their gods and goddesses into sorceresses and you know, wizards. Because, yeah. uh, of course, they, they can't, of course. Uh, acknowledge them as gods because yeah, that would hurt their own demons of their own god in comparison. Yeah, and there are three demons in the middle, they try to almost erase them, but should we remember some of them, but slightly in mock manner. Let's take a look at some of these other ones. Uh, we've seen that one, we, we don't really need to. These two are pretty much speak for themselves. We've seen that one. We've seen that one. Uh, let's try the petrification ray. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just continually impressed by the polish and little additions in this game. Yeah, then again, if it's made by the original guy that made Castlevania, that yeah. means 
a lot of experience on that belt. Definitely. And uh, well, I think we've already said this before in a in probably the previous stream even, but he didn't have uh, someone holding him back, or they didn't have someone holding them back. Uh, Is it that good? Let's let's see. Any potential place for a warping room to be here? You can't go further up here in the tower. And wait, did it? Doesn't it say towers in this area? Where's the second one then? And we haven't. Explored past there, but I think that was a sealed off area with two high walls where the walls were too high and I should probably light the rest of my room up uh, Otherwise, it will seem like it's the like, night or something hmm. Let's see Here's the about Christianity Before became Christianity you yeah. Now, if you know that there are many other gods, and you should respect the other gods, the other zombies. Because he was a heavy old god, but he respected the other gods as well, so... When, when this is between... He, yeah, become anti-other gods, it happened, I don't know. Cookies recipe? <laughs> no, Jay. And we also got something from that. I, I didn't actually look at the name. We got a flame whip. Oh. Okay, that's nice. How much damage does it actually do? I think it does more. Yeah, it does more damage. The problem, of course, being that it's. Uh... Okay, it strikes pretty fast. And long range. The range is longer than the. Morningstar. And this is probably our first fire weapon, and you're late as always, Navi. Okay, let, let's stick with this thing for a while. We can probably just get in some hits <laughs> like this. And make your own jokes at your own oh. risk. I don't think I dare to make a joke about the whip, but that's one joke of the whip I dare to do. And that is? When there's a whip, there's a way. Okay, I think I've heard that one before, but I don't know where. I, where I, probably, heard it, and I probably heard a, a version of it. It's from the very, very old Lord of the Rings cartoon. Okay. Very old one. Did not go too well, but the only thing that did go well was the songs, I think. Come on, get the car. I didn't. I didn't think you. Well, I didn't try to see if you could move these back out, or back into the background. But yeah, that that little pest is out of the way. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Oh! Okay, I should have checked that more. <laughs> Not a mimic? Okay. <laughs> okay, they. they act it's just a nice little detail about the yep, screenshot. I, I need to check if I actually saved the other screenshots because that's a bit of an annoyance uh, with Steam lately. Yeah, it used to be that if you say if you made screenshots, then at w once you close the game, it would open up a window showing you the screenshots that you've made, so you, you could s choose which to save and which to discard. But really? now they don't have that pop up anymore. But if but maybe they have maybe they 
Maybe there's an option to have that happen, but I haven't seen that yet then. Are you screen on the view screenshots? Then tell it to view my screenshots on my on my computer's own files. And they're all there. Oh, okay, you can't have overlapping accessories apparently because it removed the ventilator there. Huh. But I can put the sunglasses back on, even though they are not appearing. All right. Mm. Yeah, this would give a bit more defense and constitution. Mm. Does it actually not? Let's try to. Yeah, if I put that on, the ha the, the hyperventilator re gets removed and like the other way around. Huh. Interesting. But <laughs> let's put this on instead, even though this looks silly as all hell. <laughs> but yeah, I'd prefer to be able to see at least her eyes. Yep. And also, am I the only one to, to, that wondering what the heck the orchestra is doing? Uh, with the, you mean the music in this area? Yep. It sounds like a violin piece that's... Uh, well... Pretty quickly repeated, or... Yeah, or that's all gonna kill at the end. But, but, but that's all, you know, there. Things maybe the pirates love to have. That you do even now. I'll take that as well, I hope. I can't really say, let me check here. Okay, yeah, this is this is clearly a mechanism for wait. Oh hold on, we we could have done that <laughs> last time. Now we can probably just go Yeah. We can It's a shortcut straight to the entrance. Uh, uh why is it going black? I, I I was wondering if there was something wrong with my screen there as uh, well. Okay, so that is a bit of a glitch, perhaps. I, I had to completely run. Let's see if we can replicate it again a bit. It, I think this is actually... Maybe it's not really a glitch, but it's getting... Yeah, we're standing in between the screens, so... Yeah. It's okay. an odd little thing, then. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's music. I like it. So what the oh, music are going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing that I'm guessing that black screen is put in so you don't immediately go from one side to the other and hello. Ow! Familia Danteleon, summon for Danteleon to help you. Oh. Yeah. This thing with the fairy. Yeah, if the fairy is going to show us hidden areas. Then we're sticking with her for now, at least. And they ran off. As well, she she can help healing and fight. Yep. I mean, not the strongest fighter, but hey, in, in the damage is a welcoming damage. Oh yeah, that that is that is most definitely a boss door. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that. So. Let's continue exploring a bit further before we head into there and get our asses kicked. Because Sengetsu did that enough for the, the first, like, five streams or so. To, well, he did that enough to count for five stream, streams. And, hello? Is there something I can help you with, human? Hmm. That aura about you. You are a vampire! And what of it? Will you murder me for that alone? I've picked no quarrel with you. My name is Orlog Dracul, but you may call me O.D. <laughs> I oversee this library, miss. <laughs> okay, Dracul is of course pop to Dracula, uh, based on who himself was based on uh, Vlad Dracul. I forget actually the specific 
Was it Hungary? Where it actually is from? The He's from Tra Romania, Helium. Romania. Uh, and yeah, another word that's missing there. Miriam. Am I permitted to take out books from this library of yours? Of course, Miriam. Although you would be my first human patron. The books here are magical tomes that impart power to their readers. As long as you are here, why not avail yourself of their boons? Is this another upgrade system? <laughs> it is! <laughs> Okay, I'm... In our first vampire! Yeah, with a uh, pretty heavy Dracula feel, of course. You see, we can yeah. only have one of these out at a time. Let's see. Strength and through that attack. <laughs> Seven more attack, okay, that's a good book. Intelligence. Constitu Constitution. Mind. Luck and resistances. Okay, these wait. increases standard attack speed, increases power of familiars, directional shards stronger. Okay, let's go with this. Let's go with this for the now. I'm guessing we'll be able to lend more books as we go. To return what you borrow. This is a library, not a bookshop. I get the feeling that sooner or later we're going to get a bit of a, a drug joke with his name. Hey, there's the, there's the warp chamber. We're looking for that. Nice. Okay, let's see then if we have anything new to get here. Yep. And of course we get nicked by the one fucking bat. <laughs> All right, let's see. Got any targets for? Here's what I've turned up on the Okay, nothing new here. Anything new from Johannes? Hi, Miriam. What are we transmuting this time? Let's see. We got cooking yeah, recipes this time. So does he have cookies now? <laughs> Ice ring. Okay. It would give a tiny bit more defense, but also water resistance. Okay. He's now selling... He now also... No, he now sell. We can make this if needed. So, yeah, we already have the swords expertise one. Uh, okay, we... We can even upgrade the fairy medicine. Ooh! Gold. Okay. Alchemist gold. Let's just look through these specifically then. Any weapon that will do any more damage? None that we can make anyways now. I'm still curious at where we'll find those 8-bit uh, coins. We're going to need gunpowder for these. Gun, silver, and gold water? Okay. Hmm. Especially effective against the force of evil. These might... I'm guessing that... Hmm. I'm wondering if these will be a straight up buff or upgrade or if they will be effective against anything specific like werewolves or wolfmen. They probably be dead against vampires and werewolves. Since both are weak to silver. Let's make one of these, just this. in case. And we can. I may as well. I'll go with this. More HP and condition. Nice. Anything that we can upgrade here? Uh, no, we have no reason to upgrade that because we haven't equipped it at the moment. Let's see. 
Okay, since we can't upgrade any of the things we have at the moment. You know, Shard research has advanced during the ten years you slept. How so? By using alchemy to add new matter to the shards, we can change their properties. They evolve. For example, an offensive shard's range may widen or reach targets further away. Ah, so they'll become easier to use. To put it more simply, yes. But I should make special mention of enchantment shards. They require a large number of materials to transmute, but they function similarly to skill shards. In other words, they work even when you don't have them equipped. Wait. That is quite an advancement. Okay, I, I don't think we have any of those yet. Or, well, we don't seem to have the ability to make any of them yet either. But those will become very useful, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. There is a lot to learn here, but they are easing you into it. Yeah. Let's see. Dominique, I found a gate that's locked by what seems to be some kind of contraption. Do you have any ideas how I might get through? Where was it? I saw what looked like a train on the other side. Well, I have heard tales of a demon train. One so prestigious that only a handful of the Brethren of the Dark may use it. Brethren of the Dark? Oh, you know, vampires and the like. Vampires. Want to have a look at my wares? It might give you an idea. Okay, so... Probably OD will have something for us what to... What are you looking to buy? Well, bribe out of them in some way. Let's see. We have a few of these in stock. Let's Is buy right? five so we can turn them into high potions. Hmm. Does they have any fairy healing? Or can we only craft those? We can only craft or find those, it seems. Oh. Or, um, well, we have one on us. So it isn't like they unlock by us having it when interacting with Dominique. Let's see, anything better? Probably not. A Flamberg. But we already have that. I said I'm in the ancient Swedish moon there. No need to ever get the Garbo head now because, well, it'd be good, pretty garbage <laughs> in comparison. Okay, we have the best that we can find at Thank the moment. You. Come back anytime. We haven't been able to find silver bromide anywhere to unlock whatever photography thing there is here. How's the crops? I finished the harvest. Here's your share. Okay. We have I don't have anything. Okay. Uh any more quests from you? How are you, Miriam? Getting by. Um Oh yeah. Uh, she wants the sword, the uh, water sword. The, the strider sword. <laughs> mm. I was thinking of something, but now I just oh, we need we need the seeds to plant. Oh really? In that case uh, never again. Don't you have an air duct to sneak through? <laughs> Wait, you still haven't told me. Sorry, Miriam. Uh, it's all right. I'm used to it. The gifted ones are always the hardest to manage. So, what can I do for you? Okay, let's. I have something. We were just here. You didn't you <laughs> have that to offer us for before. Okay, let's just get. Let's see. The corn seed. Have a deal. Thank you. Now we have a 
we have a good amount of uh, plants now, but it's probably best to just keep something growing at all times, even if just to just sell if needed. Something? Can you plant this? Sure. Oh. I really like the voice actors. Yeah, they they got professionals to do the uh, to do their thing. Yep, and many British ones do them. Okay. Uh, let's yeah, take a look. British ones, and yeah, most the, the dubs I hear are used by the American ones, but when I hear the British ones, I just enjoy them. Yeah, in general, people prefer, or in general, people think that British voice actors do a better job at um, than American you know, voice actors, or that maybe because people are getting sick of hearing American accents all the time. <laughs> yeah, and there are many American voice actors that do it on the sheet or anything. If you compare. Ninja Turtles Swedish dub compared to the English dub. You you probably prefer the Swedish one for the Swedish version. They put more effort in and personality into it. But when I heard from that time heard the American one of Ninja Turtles, of the best old one in the series, I was cringing so badly. <laughs> They really spoke in that really annoying kid show surfer beat something. <laughs> uh, hello. Androphilius? What the heck uh, is that? This, this is a bit too nub without introductory. Or the full I think this might be another skill boss. Or ability boss. What it is, it's a mech TV bird. Oh, yeah, we are so getting the double jump from this. And uh, hello, Ink. Um, she's looking to climb onto something again. Oh, that Ink here. <laughs> I mean, they have some interesting box designs and mob designs. Yeah, this, this looks like... Yeah, I don't even know what to compare this to. Okay, those things hurt. And we forgot to turn the... You are not climbing on this desk. We forgot to turn the potions into high potions. What? The only thing I can think of is... An armored TV harpy, something. Is what is what I'm getting. Okay, all of those missed on pure accident. Um, she did climb on the desk, but she's on the upper end. She's looking for somewhere high to sit. Um, you are not jumping to that. Come here, you. Here she is, the little troublemaker. And I can't see her. Okay. <laughs> Up there you go, then. With the game stuff. Is she still... Yes, she's still in view. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she likes it up there on that block, probably because it's the highest point in their room. I don't get why she just gets moods that she needs to be up somewhere high. Okay, I'll lean back a bit so if she does move, people will be able to see it. It could be in the end. I don't know what they are in thing, but I think they supposed to be uh, hiding three of them. Uh, and there we go, <laughs> a demon unlocked wing clipper. Gimme. 
Wait. Okay. <laughs> Just after we are introduced to them by Johannes, skill shard. A magic that has a permanent effect by acquiring the shard. This can be turned on off during inside menu setting does not consume MP. Yeah, now we have to double jump. <laughs> so now we can reach a lot more places. Only even gives a little wings. Feather crown. Uh, let's have a look. Same defense, more strength, no constitution but mind added. And no oh. slash resistance. Yep. Oh, okay, that looks very nice. Looks and, very it, nice and it shows the hairstyle that we picked earlier. Yep, and it is very good as well. I just hope we can replace that. Uh, what was it called? Hydro ventilator with something else. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything to present it yet. Uh, oh, <laughs> we can equip the mask and we can both masks, but the crow mask overrides. And let me adjust the webcam a tiny bit. <laughs> I have so many SCP feelings from this one. Yeah, Ink was only just out of camera, but now she is, well, mostly in camera. And she's just. She isn't looking at the screen. Is she looking at the freaking clock? <laughs> the heck are you looking at, Fastball? <laughs> she, she was just having a staring contest with the freaking clock or something. All right, with our new uh, double jump in boot, let's go start exploring around a bit. And this should do many areas easy to do. Yeah. I was half expecting us to get the ability to get through these areas now, but no, that's for later still. Let's see if Johannes has anything to say about this, and we can all we can <laughs> make those high potions. Actually, let's have a little look here. Demons. We had. I don't think we checked out the. Where is it? Not that. Vapor craft work. Stained glass imbued with regret and with wrath after being broken time and again. Yeah, because stained glass is hella difficult to make. And Andref Andrelfius? A demon with stunning peacock like panel panel pe panol panoply 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 of feathers. I don't think those count as feathers, but okay. It looks weirdly feminine, but also, yeah, <laughs> it is an interesting design. Okay, now we can finally check out what in, was in that hidden er in that area we couldn't reach uh, at the beginning of the game, back in the galleon. I'll not ask what that rat was doing. That, that figurehead really has just a lot more detail put into it than it you'd really expect of an area you just passed through one time. Yeah, but you have to appreciate it. Yeah, the, the devil is in the detail, as uh, people say often, and specifically so with game design. If, if the developers went out of their way to put in a lot of detail, then it shows that they love their work. Or at least Ooh, yeah. liked it enough to actually do more than just the bare minimum. Yeah. 
Okay, I think... I think I am getting the most out of these jumps as possible. So is it still out of reach? Okay, let's at the very least check on the other end here then. And oh, <laughs> we still have... We still have a quest to kill those things. Are you one? One whipping them? Yep. Damn! Is there anything here? And then the last one of those. No, there's nothing. There's some areas over there still. Heading completely to the start of the game now. So what is hidden up here? Oh, <laughs> a warp room. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, one more chair. <laughs> There was a portugal all the way here? Yep. But yeah, you're only supposed to be able to reach this place well, after they've become common. But what is hidden in here? Okay, more ammo. And... Culverin. I guess that means that all you guys was a spy. A small uh, ancestor of the musket used by cavalry. Okay. Never heard of that one and... Whoa. Let's keep that up for a bit. It, it, it's a bit sad that these guns don't seem to have anything sp special specifically between them. But uh, then again... Th the other weapons have been mostly reskins. It's not... They haven't... What is the wording that I'm looking for? Take this. Take this. We haven't found any special weapons yet that that do anything sp well, specifically different than all the others of the same type, except the Morningstar maybe with it being two types of damage. Yep, and the Fire Whip. True. Let's see. I think the special thing with this is that they can use special ammo. But the other weapons don't need ammo. Yep. Okay, we totally could have gone down here at the very beginning of the game. Alright, what? Got a yeah, hairband. Oh. Okay, if you say so. There we go. A thousand gold. And max MP up. Okay, see, she's staying on just for that. And just a, a pistol and some ammo. Yeah, we totally should bring her to every point we've been to at least once. To see if she oh, finds anything. There's only one little area over down there, but I... I don't think there will be anything over there. We might come back there later if it... If it... Well... For now I don't think there will... It'll probably just be another square of air. So it'd be a bit wasteful to go all the way over there and back... The even though, well, I wouldn't call this a waste of time because, well, we found a hidden area with quite a bit of gold in there. Hi. Uh, dear. Yeah, and while I was talking about wasting time, I went the completely wrong way, fell down back here, <laughs> and, well, wasted time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely keeping this thing. No need for that anymore. We already 
got that. But yeah, just, just look at the right? detail in this. Yeah, that is impressive detail work. Okay, that take this is probably going to start getting annoying at some point. The sound? Yeah, that she has to call it out each and every time. I don't really think I didn't notice this until you said it properly. now. So, what'll it be? I'll go with this. There we go. There, all done. Magic has been replenishing itself fast enough. Come back if things start to go awry. Fast enough yeah. on its own. And well, we haven't been really using spells that much. And still, it would be. I'll see. It'll probably be useful to get ethers later on. Yeah. And most of the times you've been using them has been against bosses. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Actually... Hmm. Why is it... I find it a bit odd that this gets blacked out like this. Like it's still visible where we have and haven't been, but just an oddity. Hmm. Okay, for now though... I get the feeling we won't be able to get up here but it's worth a try so let's see we're 45 minutes in <laughs> the Navi broke something there let's do a bit of backtracking through this entire place to see what else we can find now that we have a double jump and over here is little... wait. There, There's an ammo upgrade over there, but we can't get to that yet. I think. As this is the furthest, or the closest that we can get. And yeah, we are not reaching that like that. We need more than a double jump for that. Hmm. Scare of all the birds here again. I think Ink has fallen asleep on top of the box on the wall. <laughs> yep, she's lying down. <laughs> Not asleep yet, from the looks of it. But she'll probably just doze off. My <laughs> me con actually intently hitting the controller against the desk. Let's see. Can we? Yes, we can. But there is literally nothing up here. <laughs> Isha, fling a sharp sliver of ice towards enemies. Hmm. Okay, but that does confirm that we can only really progress here by getting a swimming ability. Because I guess Miriam never learned how to swim before she became a shard binder. Yeah, and being frozen in Asia for 10 years doesn't help either. Yeah. What else? We have a bit over here, then perhaps something over there. Okay, we just plain can't reach there over... Hmm. It 
something somewhere has to open up into here, I'm guessing. Maybe a portal. Or we get some sort of high jump or flight ability later on. Because that's another common thing in these games. That you get a jump, but eventually you also get flight. Uh, even if limited flights. Out. How did we miss that box? But it's a blue one that re refills itself. Indeed. Just short. Yeah, we need something to up our jumping ability even further. Hmm. But there. There is a something over here, so that does confirm that there is more in this area. Maybe this will lead down here. And we might be able to reach that. Okay, probably not a good idea to try and shoot bats with a gun. <laughs> Ghosts with a gun. <laughs> uh, yeah, all of all of these do basically no damage to us anymore. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was going for the ghost, but I got the bat. Now, there is still something down here. But we can't reach that yet. I'm guessing this will need to be drained somehow. Or we need to get some sort of down attack. Perhaps we need Dracul. Come down here and drink it up. <laughs> I doubt that, but I wouldn't be surprised either. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. Very I should probably just try and keep in try and keep dodging attacks just to uh, not get into the habit of letting myself get hit. I think we're going to have to grind those dogs at some point because I think it is their drop. That wait, it probably says over here somewhere. Archives, demons, all the way back up to the top. And where are they? Yerimunde. Okay, it doesn't tell us what they drop until they dropped it. Makes sense. Yeah, but judging by the color that it has in the uh, screen, or in the alchemy screen, it is probably there something that they drop. It's, it's the same shade of purple. Where's the next area? Up here. There we can try and find new things. Actually, no, we, we're just there. We, we need something else to get up. Which might be over here like I said earlier. Just having to remind myself of things now as well. Navi actually managed to get a kill in there. 
Fried egg. Okay. Actually, I... Yeah, we we made that but didn't eat it. And we also forgot to eat these other items that we got. Because I'm easily distracted, of course. And let's remove that since we opened that up. And this will just cover ground that we've seen before. Wait, where's, where's the Blood Moon? It was following us here. And why do we have the red light outline? Good question. That red light outline has only appeared when we are on low health. Actually, let's stop with the gun because the she is. I'm. I'm starting to get annoyed by her constantly going. Take this. With this, at least, she remains silent. And well, this <laughs> this just plain deals more damage as well. Down, doggy. Good doggy. Bone damage. Yeah, it deals the slash damage from the whip and then a tiny bit of fire damage as well, I think. Yeah, it is quite nice to see how easily we kill these things now, and like with how much trouble they gave us at the start. Yeah. <laughs> And there's a whip. That is indeed a whip. Take this. Nope. Yeah, she's also making noises with this, but yeah, l less annoying ones, I'd say. Yeah, she's not repeating a same word all the time. Even though Navi seems to be copying us. <laughs> or are we copying Navi? Because she was saying that early <laughs> before we did the gun. Good question. Still this thing, we we're going to need some sort of skill to deal with that. And I'd forgotten about you. Let Let's just uh, <laughs> get past her. Okay. With the curse, we are... Actually... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I speak of the curse, and it undoes itself. Okay, this is probably going to go down. There's no border on this square, so it is going down. Thing on this, this thing again. What are these? Good question. I wonder as well. Um, this is the more in the in middle room there. Nope. Oh. Ah, I was looking at the spikes on top. Who <laughs> did I? Okay, we are not getting through that. <laughs> that is another power up. Yeah, that we don't have. Maybe we should go down? I'm down guessing down. if we drop down here, we're going to drop down the entire way. 
Let's see. Yep, it's the entire way. And now we have to go over to the. Let's just go over to the. <laughs> uh, to the base camp, and teleport from there. We've done enough exploring for now. Let's try and continue on. Actually, where would we continue on? Probably block. the tower. Let's tell. Let's teleport over there, see if we can find anything new. Because that's the whole thing with Metroidvania is like this. Uh, once you have a new ability, you have to look all over the place to where to continue on with that ability. And at, at least it... The travel times aren't too long to get between each of these, especially now that we can kill anything in one hit here. Yep, and we are also stronger in general, so you don't have to do as easy as what you can hit. I don't think we'll find too much more here. I don't think I really saw or I don't remember any places that we that looked to be just out of reach. But my memory is well known to be bad. Let's let's start over here since there's two areas over here to try and see if we can find anything more. Hello again. It's it's just still silly, just a di giant demon cat. Well, it does tell you um, a dark humor of a demon. We need whatever's we need whatever power is related to these silver plates to continue here. Uh, I might as well wait. Oh, wait, that's still locked up. Okay, back this way. Now low yet again. I, I can keep a bit of an eye on Ink now through the webcam to see if she's moved or not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's asleep up there. Sinister Heart. That's probably a crafting rat item. What is this? Dagger expertise. Dagger and rapier. Or I can never, I can never t tell how to say the freaking words. Take this. Is it rapier? Yeah, there the, the is a great game, but I don't know what it is. Also, he says you probably Google the pronunciation on, uh, on Google. Saying the same thing twice is redundant. To Google a Google is to be doing the same thing twice. <laughs> you get away. And <laughs> we accidentally killed the sword there as well. It's still a bit sad that we lost the sword. Familiar. Yeah, but because but it would be better. Yep. Yeah, is there anything here we can jump to? Oh, there is an another area up there. But we, oh, we can stand on that. Okay, new area. Or a green one. And Crusader's armor. Okay. 
Okay, that's one very extra. Good. Less on the defenses, but still very good. Oh! I should have tried that! Familiar Silver Knight. Uh. Gaming 101. Find something new, try to break it. Then I wonder what what were those other two that I found? And now we should yep. run back all the way to check out. Yeah, uh, wait, haven't you tried to break them before? I well I I aimed at them, but I never attacked. Huh. And I I probably should have marked him on the map as well. <laughs> Uh, there's probably been someone in the comments screaming at me to just hit the freaking things. Hmm. Also, sorry folks, if, in case I'm being a bit too quiet, I'm... I'm just on focus of watching and eating cheese balls here. And I'd rather not fit with my mouth full. Okay, where was... one of them was over here, I think. Hmm. Cat ears. Okay, we have to try that now. We have... We forgot we didn't have that. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> it's in here. Oh. I would have re eat them first. Uh, uh. Uh, let's. <laughs> okay, let's keep those on just for a tiny bit. <laughs> it wouldn't be Japanese if it didn't evolve uh, Neko at some point. Take this. And Neko is basically the. Oh. Was it over here? Uh, Neko, means, Neko cat. means cat in uh, Japanese, I'm pretty sure. And Usagi means bunny. And Hylian means Hylian. Okay, where was that thing? Probably over here now. Yep, there it is. What are you? Ow! Shortcut. It's possible to call up the call up the stage registered with the map menu shortcut with left trigger and left. Oh. oh. Okay, that that is very nice. Shortcuts. Okay, we can set shortcuts now. Uh, let's <laughs> let's put our weapon back on. Okay, that that is going to be useful if we know that we're using a weapon that uh, that an enemy is resistant to. Actually, just throw the just throw the bacon at you, and there we go. Finally, killed one of those. Here, where are you in this? Not here, because that seems pretty much reserved for bosses. Where? There they are. The Sairesir, Sairesir. Look at the faces! Yeah. Nice body! Horrible! Oh, put a paper bag over that! <laughs> yeah, that's a leech face! I'm just going to let the 
whoever's watching make their own joke on there with the paper backs. And oh, uh, someone in the chat. Uh, sorry, I've been missing you for five minutes here. Uh, Lazy Laffy, hello, Hadian. Missed Mur. Missed Mur. Okay. I missed Mur. Der. Ing. You. Onu Mang Us. Among Us. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mur <laughs> missed murdering you in Among Us. Yeah, it's been a long time since I played that. I should try and see about correcting that sometime. Because it, it, can, it is a pretty fun game. Yeah, and I can see it being fun. Just it's not a. It's the same. Don't expect to see me play that game for. for in a game, I would be horrible at. Yeah, because you're a horrible liar. I can lie. I just. It's the wrong situation for me to be able to do a lie convincingly. <laughs> like, if you want me to make sure no one. Uh, that there, there, there's a surprise party not being disturbed and such, sure. But. That kind of game, when I'm just gonna try to make a light lie and such. No, I can't do it. Especially not at that level. Let's see. Do was there actually a skill with these whips? Let's see. Swords and shoes. I'm pretty sure we've seen more than just these three. Hmm. Yeah. But I only use, you show me your, the, the skills. Uh, wait, no, you're using a whip. Yeah, I, th I think we've seen a uh, whip skill, but I probably not didn't include the flame whip. That's still a bit odd. Uh, wait, perhaps you lost them because you died. Then uh, go to re read them. Maybe. Have we seen that one again? Okay, I'll, I'll just double check whatever bookcases I run across, and you can <laughs> you can still see Ink's ears poking out above the the corners of the box up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there were definitely some areas in the library here where we could use a double jump. Okay, this is going to be a bit more tricky. Oh, oh I see now. You get across using the uh, the platform, and you get back with the double jump. Okay, that's nice design. Oh, oh, uh, okay, that's new. <laughs> we, those books haven't lived long enough to pull that yet. Can we? Can I trick this a bit? No. Okay. Good design. I can't trick the platform to go down just by aiming a bit at it. Which is re no, which is blocking me from sequence sequence breaking the game. It also means that whatever's up there is out of our reach for now, though. Uh, where else? Probably somewhere in the tower. But it's still best to keep an eye out here for anything. Yeah, this this will lead us back to the tower. Okay, for some reason I seem to have turned around there for a moment. Okay. Still just moving on. Uh, yeah, that double jump just make tra makes traversing to a place so much easier. 
check this. Oh, that's just a reminder of that. Oh. Okay, just one hit kill. <laughs> I forgot about the shortcut that we opened up. <laughs> Alright, what does this say? Power slash. Okay, is that safe in here now? Power slash, yeah. Wait, is the red room safe room? Yeah. But where you it? You only now notice that the red rooms are safe rooms. Like six hours no. in. Actually, seven hours and 15 minutes in. Uh, more of what to double check so I'm not being misunderstanding it. I learned that the green rooms are water rooms. Yep. Normally green is for the room. Wait, no, normally green is the it's a room. Okay, what have we here? Oh, one of you again. Oh, oh, oh hello. Zula Hammer head. So these are these games Medusa heads, huh? Zula Hammer head. Yep. Oh, uh, we do. Hmm. That's the head of the Tula Hammers. Yep, the one that they've been <laughs> using as their own weapons. Now, uh, hmm. How do we get past that? Or are we not supposed to be get past here yet? We can't Don't hide between you? the teeth. Oh. oh, we can hide between the teeth. Entirely an accident. And it's another familiar. And that's just immediately the next room we kill drops another one as well. Poison toad. Okay, we want to avoid those. A ruby and a sapphire. Dealt with. Nothing hidden in here. Nope. Nothing hidden. I still hear more toads. And why did the wolf have wool? Oh, wolf in sheep's clothing. Yep, or he ate the sheep. Take this. Okay, we are definitely not being getting that one yet. Wait, why isn't that notified as a chest? Is that a mimic? And we came all this way for another dead end. Oh no, not a dead end. It's the gears here still. Might be a mimic, yeah. And the fairy's chasing after the <laughs> the rolling grin again. Yeah, wait, I have an idea. You hold on to the fairy's leg and ask her to fire you up. I don't think she's that strong. I see her legs. And we in another sapphire. I can I think she can. Yeah, I think she can cross some skull with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and poison. Uh, do we actually have... Yep. <laughs> the footsteps of these are pretty loud, huh? Yeah, but they're also very... You know, big. Yeah, but we fought things as big, if not bigger, that didn't have that loud a footstep. 
You took wool and with health now. Oh, I'd almost forgotten about you. Grotesque shell. I think it should be grotesque parapet. Well, it's grotesque all, all the way, all the same. No element there. <laughs> Is he Wait, that's not marked on the map. Sweets are. Actually, so yeah, how did we get there? Then? We probably get there from this side over here if we go a low road. Yeah, this probably leads to that upgrade. Then we can use that to get back up again. We summoned the three little piggies and we hit all of them. Yep. <laughs> Another shell. Where are all of those coming from? And we've got another wannabe bowler up here. Can we get from here just short? Okay, then they've probably got to time this jump a bit better. If I not and not fail them. <laughs> What hit me there? <laughs> what hit me there? <laughs> Come on. I, I think it was the rolling ones that did hit you. I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't near it. I, my eyes were on the... <clears throat> were on the gears. But I'm pretty sure we were pretty far away from each other there. Okay, let's try that again. From it. There we go. For such a silly spell, it's quite a, it's still a quite powerful one. Go again and. Well, what would you expect of the uh, happen when you have an entire train pig shot at you? At least these stupid things don't petrify you. Emerald and Sapphire, they really want to give us a lot of Sapphires. Oh. A hidden upgrade. Oh, and a new enemy. Okay, just <laughs> put the blender on front of the shield. Shield outsider. What? Hmm. Okay. Well, we got a quest to kill those. Okay. Special ammunition. Recipe and finally activating the elevator. But first, let's check over the other side before we progress any further. Critical. Is that armor filled or not? And it, that's the same death sound as the Drill Knights, or the Spiral yep. Knights. 
Oh. And I think you just had a contact damage with him. You landed with his spikes. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yay. Meet you for your third time, kill you for the third time. Yeah, the, it does look like the, there's someone in that armor. So, are they outsiders and in, as in cultists? Demons, perhaps. Oh, what's here? Okay, Q two seventeen sixty five. I've done it. While small, the creature I summoned was most absurd assuredly a demon. I thought I was clutching at straws when I tried using the crystal as a medium, but what power! Distressingly, my small demon nearly devastated the guild before I could destroy it. The thought of a whole army crossing over sends chills up my spine. The demon we vanquished produced a red crystal in... Oh, no, the, the okay, the second one isn't a quarter, uh, because that goes from two to nine. Month maybe? No, probably day because the other symbol says the same and for some reason some areas have it like the you have the, the month, then the day, then the year. Hmm. Over here we have it suddenly day, month, year. Hmm. Well it depends on the product. We have a pattern we prefer, but depending on the product, it's uh, or it can be very different. So it gets confusing at times. And it seems my Twitch app stra crashed on my uh, phone. So let's see. Okay, let's see again. The red demon we vanquished produced a red crystal. I'm calling this a shard to differentiate it from the white crystal. But both are strange and fascinating. The symbol exhibits a strange, a kind of magnetic pull on the shard, suggesting it may be capable of binding with the shard's demonic power. But how do I make more of it? So this is the origin of shard binders. Well, this is the this was the location of the alchemist guild. So it makes sense that some remnants stayed well fused into the castle, which I think they actually talked about earlier that some of the yes. alchemist locations have been fused into this place. Correct. Right. Emerald. Yep, and a ruby. And I should... I keep forgetting to mark these respawning chests. Even more gears. Even more of these wannabe Medusa heads. High potion. <laughs> uh, let's hope that if Miriam drinks them, that she doesn't become high. Uh. Oh. <laughs> and this is head split. He uh, helm splitter. Leap forward, bring your blade down on the enemy's head with the Honobami and the swordfish. There's going to be a literal swordfish weapon, isn't there? <laughs> what else is in this place? Okay, we can we can call it we can call the elevator now as well. Uh, is there anything between here? No, there isn't. Might as well fill in these map squares. And Ink is still up there. Okay, let's take a quick peek. Oh yeah, we hadn't continued here because yeah, this is this is sealed off. But it looks like there's a pillar that's lying against this elevator shaft. So, uh, not from here at least. Oh, okay, there's an interesting leap. There's a magic leap? 
Yep. The closest comparison I would say would be like a magnetic lift, but yeah, this place is run by parts alchemy, parts demon magic. Okay, it was about time that we found one of these. And now we're at 29% map completion. Now he finally gets an attack in when the enemy is still alive. <laughs> and they hit it in the shield. Oh, what is this? It's a directional one. Directed shield. Call for a shield that can be faced in any direction. Okay, that is going to be very useful. No ground power. Okay, yeah, we we can use that to protect ourselves. Another nice. high potion. Oh, that screams boss. Yep, I think I think each time we've run into this door, we've seen. Wait, 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 wait. You want to save so you don't lose that skill. Yep. Yep. Oh no, we might need that skill. Yeah, that'll be a good test to see if it is of any use. Right, I think we need to kill you one more time. There we go, five out of five. All right, what is in here? Too quiet. Oh, uh, uh hello. Uh, oh, good uh, cat dog thing. Okay. Valak. Uh, yeah, these are the twin dragons. See, one has for a forward horn, one has a backwards horn, and They move again. Wait, I can just push the around. Okay, that deals quite a bit of damage. Uh, I'm going to take a guess that these guys might be vulnerable to ice. Because I don't think that shield is going to be of much use like that. And we don't have a directional one, but we should have. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's useful. High <laughs> uh, potions. Let's see, how much do these. Okay, 250. Uh, hmm. Let's see, we do thirty six and eight. Thirty. Okay, so the whip is still better, even if they might have a possible defense. What about the great swords? 38. Uh, that can be good, whatever that is incoming. Okay, I'm surprised we even survived that. And 
why is... Oh, yeah, that's why I... I'd set... I'd forgotten that I set this thing back to bore me on 9 p.m. every day, even on my stream days. So, yeah, that is why I turned those off, actually. I don't think I want to be underneath those... You see, at least the chins don't seem to be damaging me. Yeah, I, I don't want to be underneath <laughs> them. They are so coming down with those jaws of them. What the... Okay! <laughs> oh, and that opened this place up. Okay. Achievement unlocked Snake Charmer. Inferno Breath. Expel flames in the designated direction. Okay, I, I was fully expecting to not survive that, actually. <laughs> and here's the Silver Bromide. <laughs> Well, uh, that was a flash of brilliance, or good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, me seeing a rainbow in the morning, six in the morning actually, with breakfast, was a good omen. Alright, that does show that I am also improving with this game. Yeah, yeah, and... It, I'm, I'm guessing it, these are just now the Twin Towers now. Yep, and this also proves it is a damn good idea to go back and then explore. For otherwise you will not have that ice spell. Yeah, yeah that, that definitely dealt quite a bit of damage on them. Yep, and in a good way that they've shot both heads. And we didn't use all of our uh, health potions there. Still half of them, but we, <laughs> we have spares. But yeah, that I keep s saying things like uh, how things are with Castlevania likes, but the bosses are supposed to be the real hurdles, the hurdles for uh, to progress, and the areas. Be, uh, before them, the enemies are supposed to slow you down, but you are, s if you keep going at it at a good amount of pace and kill most enemies, uh, then then the, the enemies will still be tough, or at least not be able to one shot be one shot killed, but they will not be like Dark Souls hard. This is quite the walk back up. And why yeah. is there blood here? Exercise and wonder as well. Where is the blood? Okay. Cat check and she's up. <laughs> she's and uh, now she's leaving the screen. And now she is where she originally wanted to jump to from here. But yeah, there's some Legos things on there, so I do not want this, her to jump from this to there. And now you're planning on jumping from there to here, aren't you? <laughs> nope, she's heading back. Nope, she's changed her mind. Are you just going to sit among the Lego Star Wars stuff up there? If, if she throws this down, I, I'm, it's going to be hell to clean up. She is looking like she does want to jump down to there. I'm splitting my attention now. Okay. You are not jumping to that. If you want to come down, you come to me, Fastball. <laughs> come on. She's just high enough that I can't fully lift her up. Come on. Get here. Nope. Here, not in the freaking corner. <laughs> okay, it might be better than if I clear up some stuff here so she can have a 
a landing without throwing Lego bricks all over my room. Let me. Don't hear you. All right, gotcha. Sit still. And here she is again. <laughs> And there she goes, or at least as far as people got to see, her tail goes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the door is open wide enough for you to pull it open. <laughs> there you go. She's been... Come on. You just want me to open the door for you further so you don't have to yourself, don't you, lazy <laughs> bull? There, there, that's true. <laughs> and after some wriggling, she manages to fit the rest out. <laughs> uh, yeah, our, our cats are just really lazy at times. Okay, we. Okay, a bit odd. It opens up in the lower area, but yeah. Oh, this is great. Yep, yeah, Achievement unlocked marathon. Great. Now we're right back where we. Okay, we beat a boss, but we got the silver bromide from that, from that, and we got an attack spell. But how do we progress now then? Hmm. We sh we should probably check in with OD around here. Oh, where was he? I think he was here. No, that was the boss. Hmm. Where was it? Here? Alright, you defeated two bosses today. I mean the boss and the big boss. Okay, where was he? And now you're putting one percent down with the map. This. How do we progress from here? Because we didn't we didn't get a movement skill from that. And I didn't see anything off whilst we were climbing the tower that would lead to somewhere new. Oh, hello. Taps Ocius. Strikes strike enemies with lightning that finds them no matter where they are. Okay. Might as well give it a try. Oh, this one's this one's aimed. Okay. No wrong one. Oh, <laughs> just plain summon that thing like bayonetta. Okay, where was the other one? Here it is. Okay, just that's <laughs> just plain chain lightning. Oh you, you, you remind me of something. Hmm? You know, you said bayonetta. I got the concept idea of the most evil parrot that never has been from hell and back. From Bayonetta. Okay. But apparently one of those summons is a giant killer parrot. <laughs> You've been looking up the wiki on this or something? No, no. A, a friend played it uh, with me in the past. Wait, so that's why I remember it. <laughs> okay. I bought, I bought the game when it was new. A friend played it for me, basically. And yeah, that parrot stayed with me in my brain. Okay, I've watched someone play through Bayonetta, but I don't remember a demon parrot. 
But it was a big shadowy parrot. And it looked like a parrot Eddie, to me. You seem to know a lot. How does one board the train here in the castle? That old thing. Why would you want to? Hmm, because. You need credentials to pass through the station gate. I could give you mine. Really? But the credentials must carry your photograph in order to... Ah. So that's why we need the silver bromide. My what? Ah, that's right. Your kind hasn't invented photography yet. But if anyone has come close, it would be the church. If you know any men or women of the cloth, they may be able to help you. Oh, and we can land the second one now. Let's see, let's go for constitution for the defense. Be certain to return what you borrow. This is a library, not a bookshop. I don't like him. He's sitting above an opening in there, and this room is linked to the other one. And I think I recall some sort of prank you could pull on an NPC in another Castlevania Ten game Ossius. or something. Hmm. Like, I remember something like that with the characters sitting in the upper end of one room and with an above an opening and you being able to throw something up that or fire something up that to mess with them or something but yeah none of these seem to be reaching for that and that didn't get any reaction <laughs> so I'm presuming whatever is the case with that we don't have access to yet Probably for a quest uh, or something later. Maybe. I, I I might it might be that my memory is just playing with me, but I do think I remember something to like that. I don't know, for some reason that, for some reason him sitting over an opening is just, it's just sparking something in my memory, but it, I can't remember anything specific. Hey. Uh, we buy him a, next, a new seed. Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Oh, new quests. Trevor. Yep. <laughs> Axe Outsiders. I, I'm pretty sure Trevor uh, in the castle of Trevor Belmont is an act uh, is typically shown with uh, axes as his sub weapon in the Castlevania games. Okay. Good work. Here's your reward. Uni Risebow. Got any targets? Nom, nom. Here's what I've turned up on the monster. And from this one we get work. silver. Got any targets? Here's what I've turned up on the monster. You won't do it. That's disappointing. Okay, beats. Okay. Dario the chimney sneak chimney sweeps. Help Dario the chimney sweep. Rest in peace. Kill those murderers dead! I, I gotta wonder how busy had must have been here with all, with demons for all these different ones the <laughs> to be to kill people in the village. Help Got any tug? Here's what I've turned up. Help my cousin's friend Martha. Rest in peace. I get the feeling that as these are going to continue on, that the connection is starting to go grow thinner and thinner until it's like the. Uh, second cousin, twice removed, uh, husbands, wives, uh, niece, 
three times uh, removed and then their <laughs> grandfather or something. Well, uh, they seem to be li have lived in this village uh, for a long time, so... Okay, this time we I don't know a lot. Yet. Okay, 30 ha max HP up. Scratches. Clear all of these new symbols out. Okay. I found the materials you need. Then let's make some photographs. <sighs> Relax. You look too serious. It's not easy to smile on command, you know. Well, do your best and hold still. Don't move a muscle until I tell you. <laughs> and you can breathe now. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> Come on, that it wasn't too long. All finished. You can move around if you want. Whew. Here you are. One photograph. Keep it as a memento. It looks exactly like me. How strange. Just be glad you didn't, you didn't end up standing there for a few hours. And another photo in the form of a screenshot. <laughs> oh, come on. I, I really was, I was hoping you, you could see the photo of her. Hmm. Oh, almost forgot. Need to plant a new seed. I should probably just buy a few this of these. This narrow horizontal opening I'm trying to squeeze through. Any ideas? Yeah, you could ask uh, Zen gets you for help. He might know something about squeezing through, uh, well, <laughs> air ducts. As a matter of fact, Zangetsu just sent a message arrow about that. <laughs> In the gruesome hall of experiments, seek the demon darting through narrow holes. Darts. Sounds difficult to catch. Even the trickiest creatures have a weakness. You will find it. Now, is there anything else you need from me? What are you looking to buy? Like, <laughs> you know, pe they were expecting people to make that joke. Okay, is let's buy three of e all of these. Is this thank you. Is this what? Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, game. You got us both there. Nice. <laughs> Anything new here? It's good to see you. So, what'll it be? Let's see. Nothing new there. Nothing here. A bunch of these here. But we don't have gunpowder. And, well, I, I probably won't be using guns too much. Except to pester on from a distance. Yeah, Polonaise? What? A Polonaise? I misread that to something else. Okay, what then? Polonaise. <laughs> uh, good as a potato chip taste. Or flavor. You okay, that's a big jump in defense. Hold on, hold on, hold on! You want potato chips to taste like minced meat? Yeah, not minced meat, but I presume like the like the sauce, perhaps. Mm. Uh, okay. I can't say I've actually had pasta bolognese ever, but yeah, we have we have potato chips in green bags usually. Uh, that are labeled as bolognese taste. Bolognese, with an E at the end instead of an A. You poor innocent soul! What? We eat here regularly enough in Sweden. <laughs> okay, I might propose it for something to eat. Maybe. maybe Monday I could try and make it myself, even though it would be a bit of a jump from the last thing I tried. Because yeah, on, on Monday I cook for the family, or I try to if I not, don't forget. 
But it is easy, just buy minced meat from the store, pack it up, throw in I'll go with what, this. Uh, the sauce stuff you need, and it's done. It's surprisingly easy to do. I like it. Of course you do it. That sounds more like meat balls in sauce. Or actually just plain minced meat in sauce. Yeah, well, we do call it the uh, Shatva sauce, which means, well, minced meat sauce. Mm. It rarely, but apparently when I ask people what we call that in English, people just call, tell me we to call it bolognese. I'll go with this. I yeah. guess bolognese is the fancy word for it. I like it. I, I guess we'll just have to compare uh, notes on this. that, what, it's, what we specifically mean Ooh. by I that. like it. Yeah, I would. I would be surprised if I've been lied to. I would not be surprised. <laughs> well, Making not lied, but uh, given misinformation. It could be uh, bunny ears, lily ears, meat, and a durable rag. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just made these rings just in case. Yeah, we need a bit of elemental protection. Is there anything here that we can you know, summon insects? Uh, I should have expected. I'm not sure if I got caught there or not. My brother got caught there. So I'll we can upgrade this one again. Iron for these. Toad eye for that one. Mm, increases coverage. I'll Let's just do that because I don't think those toad eyes yeah, will be much use done. for anything else. I do want to try these other familiars for a bit. The zero light sounds interesting. Anything else? I'm a bit hesitant to use metals for upgrades. I need more fairy dust, but for that I need to kill more fairies to upgrade the fairy. Come back anytime. Okay, let's take a look here. Silver Knights. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Hmm. Holy! I wonder if all of them will look for hidden areas. Wait, 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 wait. Sit again. I want to see if he wanted to sit on your shoulder. He's a bit big for that. Has he sits next to you? Uh, nope, he's boring. Maybe... Let's see, there's actually a chair somewhere around here that should also work. Because we can't sit down again after we get up. And yeah, there, there's the photo... <laughs> there's the photography chair over here. So let's see, any of these also that sit down? I, I very much doubt that these will sit on our shoulder. I wouldn't want it to sit on our shoulder in the first place. What did that do? It's not an attack speed bonus, it's just a damage bonus. I think he buffered up you and sounded like he cursed at you. It said Rookie. something, yeah. And let's check. I hope oh. I oh. hope he gets heard. But it it's remains. Not like you to you to me. Uh, uh. Uh, I guess Miriam has gone Super Saiyan. <laughs> She's very upset with you, Helium. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I wish it would tell a bit more in here, but oh well. See, will it say it again? <gasps> yep. <laughs> okay, that also works. Like it. <laughs> It's little details like this, just just elevates a game from good or ama great to amazing. 
Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you get off the night again. Oh, we hope we don't come. Blessing okay. upon you, I think okay. it says. Okay. Well, I would assume he says something rude. I would say something rude to you. What are you? Let's try this one again. No, they. Okay, let's roam around. We're at. We're almost at two hours. Actually, I should. I should, I should count in. Uh, time from the pre-stream and the intro more often, so technically we're only at an, an hour and 55 minutes. I should keep try and keep that in mind more often. Yep, so as let's, well with cats. Yeah, let's move around a bit more. Um, and for one, go get those papers. What are, what are you going to do? Oh! Okay, they they intercept projectiles. Everybody. That that could come in very useful. Yeah, the film is good, but. Are it's not good for combat. Yeah, so you need to make sure she's loaded with healing potions be very good. I brought a photograph. May I see it? Hmm. This should suffice. Give me just a moment. Here you are. Your very own credentials. Oh, thank you, OD. If we run into if we run into a werewolf called Garfield, then uh, yeah, we call could call that a bit of an elaborate joke, because OD sounds similar to OD, like uh, the dog from Garfield. Oh, okay. I was wondering what the heck. For a moment, I thought you lost your marbles. <laughs> Yes, I actually thought that you forgot that Garfield is not a damn wolf. Yeah. <laughs> we, I think we checked this one. I think this is lore. No, hatchet heal. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's try and run around with... <laughs> different familiars for a while just to see maybe it's specific ones that actually oh, oh level up hmm. yeah the, f the fairy didn't have a protective effect so yeah I'm, I'm guessing to make up for that she oh, Looked for hidden areas for you or breakable walls. We got some ginger, hemp, and oak from that. Hmm. Okay, we'd, re we'd read that one again uh, before. And now we can get up here, which I probably should have done earlier. The, mon <laughs> the monkey got stuck there for a moment, apparently. <laughs> Moon belt. Let's see. A belt with a moon design that improves your backstab ability. It's a moonwalk belt. What? They're getting a bit busy here. Okay, the knight also isn't too big on offense, it looks like. But, yeah, the, these familiars aren't supposed to be, like, 
fully combat, uh, <clears throat> fully combat capable or comparable to you. Also, why are these waking up so early now? But before they only woke up when we got near them or hit them at first. Uh, maybe. Though the one that we killed. Uh, the one that we killed were also got alerted before we actually hit them or got near. Them. So huh. hmm. Hello, what's over here? Hello. Hello. And what does this lead? Narnia. Oh, okay, this is just the forbidden underway water. Okay, that that goes far. <laughs> okay. That's like triple the length of the other areas so far, or triple the width. But I get the feeling we'll be blocked by water here in a bit. Not entirely the place we're supposed to go, I think. Still very nice. Crimson Storm, Ch channel your fighting spirit into your blade and unleash it. You Ch have one of the events for that. Chumara and Do Dojigiri. I'm terrible with names in other languages. Hey, hello. That's actually perfect timing, because we're a bit over two hours now. Even with the intro and free stream. Damn it. <clears throat> All right then. Yeah. The <laughs> yep. Let's have a look at who actually have been watching this. Let's see. Okay, these look all. These just look like bots, so I guess we get to skip that. Though we did have w at least one human watcher, uh, Levi, Levi Lars in the chat. Thank you for watching. And again, anyone else who is watching now, who looks like a bot but is not a bot, speak up at some point. Otherwise, I will just start ignoring you. But yeah, <coughs> and yep. <coughs> I can't find the words at the motor. I'm choking on my own <laughs> words here. Yep. So again, thank you, Lafi Lassi, anyone else who has been watching now later on on YouTube, and a special thanks to you, Drakir. You're most welcome. <laughs> and yeah, tomorrow, something Sunday early again. I'll have to check for some new games to try there. Though I think I know one or two I might show off. I think I might have a bit of a theme this time. Uh, -oh. uh maybe. Actually, yes, I I'll show off two games with that, I'm pretty sure. Uh somewhat similar. And uh, one of them I actually finished it today. Well okay. Technically you could say two, the, the both of them, though finished with one would be a strong word but we'll see tomorrow and I very much doubt I'll have to prepare other games for that so for now yeah this has been Bloodstained Ritual of the Night again anyone who's been watching thank you and until next time but until then until then be safe folks